One of the number one frustrations that women have, spiritual entrepreneurs, when we hop on strategy calls, when they're looking to grow. One of the number one frustrations that women have, spiritual entrepreneurs, when we hop on strategy calls, when they're looking to grow or scale or expand their business, is they are struggling to show up consistently online and share their message. So they either are unclear around what their message is to begin with, or they struggle to show up consistently in a way that will really attract clients and really resonate with their soulmate clients. And so what happens is they end up just posting fluff and their marketing falls flat and they don't attract any clients and they don't grow their business and they stay stuck in that cycle. And so I'm gonna share with you a little tip today on how to get out of this cycle if this is where you're finding yourself. And first and foremost, the number one reason that they are not showing up online, well, there's actually two reasons and I'm gonna briefly touch on both of them. Um, they probably will also be separate videos in and of themselves. But the number two reasons that they're not showing up consistently with a message that actually calls in their client or they're not clear about their message to begin with is because A, they are not trusting the divine guidance that's coming through to them and B, they are overall afraid of rejection and so they're letting fear stand in the way. So they may really have a clear sense of what their message is but they are so stuck in fear and imposter syndrome and self-doubt and fear of rejection that it keeps them from sharing, keeps them from going live, keeps them from sharing their posts, keeps them from creating a podcast episode or whatever the case may be. Or they are not trusting the divine downloads and the guidance to begin with. And so what they, then do is they go manufacture content around whatever schedule is convenient for them and they try to create and keyword here is try they try to create content that they think another keyword is think that their soulmate client needs well guess what the word try if you're trying to figure something out or you're trying to put something together means you're not in soul alignment and if you think that's what your soulmate client wants to hear guess what that's another sign that you're not in soul alignment because you are in your head you are not in alignment you're trying to conceptually figure it out from the mental level. And this is a result of, this is the distorted masculine energy trying to take action on something that is not aligned in order to overcompensate for the void that they feel, which is lack of clients or lack of, um, you know, maybe engagement online with their messaging and stuff like that. But that's because their messaging is falling on deaf ears because it's falling flat because they're posting fluff because they're not trusting the divine guidance and or they're just not posting it all because they are stuck in fear. So they're either not trusting the divine guidance and posting fluff or they are not showing up consistently. So it's really like, you know, happenstance whenever they show up, it's sort of just like hot and cold um, with their messaging because they can't show up consistently because their fear of rejection. And even when they are showing up, even if it was even like semi-consistent, many of them are still frustrated and scattered around what their message truly is and who they're truly here to serve. So these are the top frustrations that are popping up with so many of the women that I talk to that I help. Uh, this is specifically what I help with inside my program, Sacred Leader Academy, because if you can't show up online and share your message and your gift with the world in a consistent way that allows yourself to be seen, heard, and um, 
perceived as someone that is credible in your niche for what you have to bring to the table, then guess what? No one's going to take you seriously or purchase your offer or your program or your course or whatever the case may be. So you really have to be in alignment with your messaging and you really have to be in alignment with your mission and you really have to be in alignment with um, what you're sharing. And in order to do that, you have to be able to trust. You have to be willing to trust the divine guidance that's coming through. And you have to get out of the fear. You have to get out of the fear of rejection and out of the fear of, you know, not being liked and imposter syndrome and all of that stuff. So you can show up fully in your power, fully show up in your power and share your message your gift and your truth with the world from a full from a from a place of empowerment right this is what's going to attract clients to you and anything less than that is going to fall flat and it's not going to resonate and you're not going to be magnetic so when i talk about marketing with clients i work on magnetic marketing magnetic messaging and how do you become magnetic you get into alignment and this is key. And so I just wanted to share this with you because, you know, normal marketing principles don't apply for you, right? You are a spiritual messenger. You are a divine channel. Everybody in truth is a channel and connected to the divine, but not everyone is tapped into that, um, to that skill. And not everyone is divinely guided to um, have that as part of their mission. But if you're watching this, this is part of your mission, which means you cannot operate on any old marketing strategy. You can't follow the rules of, of what they taught you in college or business school and get your message out in the world. This is 5D communication. This is tapping into higher consciousness. This is tapping into higher states of awareness. This is what I call multi-dimensional marketing. And this is what magnetizes your message. And it's unique to the channeling process. It's unique to the spiritual teacher, healer, light worker that is here to make a massive impact in the world by sharing their message and their gift. And Fortunately and unfortunately for you, the normal marketing rules are not going to apply, which is why you're spinning your wheels. And this is why I specialize not in just helping anybody build a, a business. I help the spiritual teacher, the healer, and the light worker that's here to um, be that divine channel. And so this is, again, what I refer to as multidimensional marketing. And it is a deal breaker for your business if you want to call in and attract soulmate clients. And... If you want to build out a program as well that attracts soulmate clients, you have to operate on a lot of the same principles that I teach within the marketing strategy. But I'm going to save that for another episode. So if you like this episode, let me know. I love your comments. I love your feedback. Um, post them below this video wherever you happen to be watching this. And if you really like this message and it's really resonating with you and you know it's time to step into your power and share your message and your gift with the world and you're sick of playing small and hiding out in fear, self-doubt and imposter syndrome and you're ready, you're truly ready, then I welcome you to take the Soul Line Success Masterclass. Wherever you're watching this video, there should be a link below. Hop on that masterclass. And if that masterclass resonates with you, you will get a special invite to hop on a 60 minute deep dive strategy call with me where I will help you create an aligned blueprint for your spiritual business to take you from A to Z with a step-by-step -step process so that you can stay in complete alignment with your mission and your lifestyle goals. And that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope this finds you well, and I look forward to another episode with you very soon. Namaste.